Hello friends, I'm Navin from WP Health Guide. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to display your Instagram post on your WordPress site using a free plugin Blossom Theme Social Feed. I'll demonstrate how to install and authenticate the plugin and how to add it to the sidebar. I'll also provide tips on how to re-authenticate your Instagram account and what to do if you get the warning of Instagram access token is expired on your dashboard. The process is very simple to follow. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I request you all to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any updates whenever I upload a new video. Now without a further delay, let's get started. As you can see, I have a beautiful free theme Blossom Feminine installed on my website. I'll provide the link to this theme in the description below if you want to use the theme. On this website, I want to display Instagram posts so that my readers can easily follow and check my latest Instagram updates. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Now let's head over to your dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new. In the search bar type blossom themes, social feed and hit the enter key. Here. This is the plugin that we are going to use. Now click on install now. Once the plugin is installed, click on activate. Once you activate the plugin, you will see a warning blossom themes invalid or expired Instagram access token. Please reconnect your Instagram account. Since we haven't authenticated our Instagram account, we are getting this warning. Once we authenticate our account, this warning will be gone. Now head over to Blossom Theme Social Feed. And here you see the options to connect with your Instagram. Before you start the authentication process, if you have installed and activated Jetpack plugin, please deactivate the plugin temporarily from plugins installed plugins so that it doesn't interfere in the authentication process. Once the authentication is completed, you can reactivate the Jetpack plugin. Now click on this button and now you'll be taken to the Instagram page and you have to enter your Instagram login credential. Once you add the credential, click on login. Now the plugin will ask permission to access your profile info and access your media file. Now click on authorize. As you can see, the plugin has automatically added the access token and username. Just below that, you do have options to select and configure the number of photos that you want to display. So in my case, I want to display six photos. And here you can specify how many photos you want to display per row. Here I want to display six photos per row. You can also change the profile link text. The next setting is for specify how often you want to check your Instagram post and update the result on your website. The default value is set to one day. You can also change it into hours, but it is recommended to make only one request per day. This will help to avoid frequent requests to your account so your Instagram token doesn't get expired quickly. There is also a button to face new post which you can click if you want to manually face the post. Once you are done, just click on save changes and visit your website. In this theme, the Instagram section is shown above the footer area. So let's scroll to that section. And as you can see here, the Instagram post is displaying here. This is how you can display and authenticate your Instagram account. Now I'll show you how to add Instagram in the sidebar. To add Instagram in the sidebar, go to Appearance and Widgets. Here you'll see the list of widgets that has been installed on your website. Scroll down till you see Blossom Themes Feed for Instagram. Click on this arrow icon and here you'll see where you want to add the Instagram account. In my case, I want to add in the sidebar. If you want to display in the footer, then you can also select this option. So for now, we'll go with the sidebar option. Now click on add widget and here you can see this is the title of the widget. The username is automatically inserted and here you can specify how many number of photos you want to display. 
and you can also specify how many photos you want to display per row so i'll display six photos and i'll change the number of photos per row to two and click on save now if you go to your site and refresh your site you'll see the instagram in the sidebar as well so in this way you can also add the instagram in your sidebar if you want to display in the footer the process is same as mentioned earlier just go here click on footer one or any other foot area you want to add click on add widget and here you can select the settings as per your need so in my case i'll just select three photos per row and click on save now if i refresh my page and check my footer area you can see i have three photos displaying per row sometimes in your dashboard you will see a warning that your instagram token has been expired the access token is generated by instagram and the plugin has no control over it the plugin development team has implemented cache setting in the plugin so even if your access token is expired your images will be shown to your visitors as you can see here we are getting the warning that our instagram token has expired now you don't have to re-authenticate your instagram account all you have to do is click on save changes and it will re-establish the connection no re-authentication is needed and the warning message is gone sometimes even after doing this if your instagram account is not working properly or your images are not shown on your website then you can re-authenticate your instagram account once again i'll show you how to do that head over to instagram.com and click on this icon then click on this gear icon and go to apps and websites and here you can see the list of apps and websites that you have authenticated your Instagram. Now simply click on remove to remove the authentication. Now we have successfully deauthorized our app. Now in order to re-authenticate the app, go to your dashboard, click on refresh and you can just click on connect with Instagram. Again, you will be asked for the permission since I am already logged in. It is not asking for the credential. Now click on authorize. And it will add the access token and username once again. Now click on save changes. And your Instagram account is successfully re-authenticated. To verify it, you can go to your website and check it. And you can see here the Instagram posts are displaying. In the future, if you want to use another Instagram account, then you have to re-authenticate the plugin once again. The process is same as before. At first, go to Instagram.com and log out all your accounts. Once you are done, go to your dashboard and click on reconnect with Instagram or connect with Instagram. Now you'll be asked for the credential. So in this case, I will authenticate my personal account to the password, click on login. Now it will ask for permission to view the profile info and access the media. Again, click on authorize. And just like before, the plugin has successfully added the access token and username. Again, I can configure the photos and number of photos per row. Once I have configured the setting, I'll just click on save changes. Now, when I refresh my website, as you can see here, the Instagram account has been successfully changed. And you have noticed that my images are of different sizes. It is because my Instagram photos are of different dimension. If you want to display uniformly sized images, you should use same size images for your Instagram posts. In this way, you can easily authenticate your Instagram account and display your post on your website. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and hit the subscribe button so that you never miss any of my new videos. If you have any question or feedback, do let me know in the comments below.